Life just got the best of me. I just kept driving myself into a wall over and over again. Wish I never fell into numbers. Wish that I could dissipate my rage. Wish I could I essentially become a different person. Artificial taste, it holds my name. Thought that I had always been numb. But now I can't ignore the bends and cracks. What happened to Shattered Kevin? Hell, some of you may not even have known him. Shattered Kevin was just a kid in a world of bull****, always just happy to enjoy moments with his friends, happy to be able to record them and save those memories to look back on, always enjoyed editing them, learning all the ins and outs of videography. It was a hobby, a passion. It distracted him for whatever stresses in his life. He lived his life as best as he could. And now you may have followed him throughout his two or so years online. He picked up in 2020, following up on his old YouTube channel that had also been discontinued and wiped two years prior. But the quality of his videos were even noticeably getting better towards he, his end of his run when all of a sudden he just stopped. And at such a strange place too. January 6th at uh, 5 p.m. Eastern um, will be the season premiere season premiere of Factory Friday. He left off on a high note, riding the high that was 2022. The last few weeks of his run were some of his best, bringing along one of his clo closest friends, Angel. I mean, he was made the centerpiece of these videos, and he made for some of the funniest videos to date. But even then, he just disappeared. Week after week, videos came up, and, and he, kept, he kept up. But, but it all just stopped. And by the way, I am Shattered Kevin. As weird as it is to talk about myself in like a third person view, it, I, I felt like it might have helped to put that in, that in a different perspective so to speak, to make it more cinematic or whatever, you know, for the sake of the story. And I mean, honestly, I had big plans for the channel. I had a lot of projects and video ideas coming up. One of the big reasons I stopped was just, I mean, I mean, to put it short, life just got the best of me. For the longest time, I had kept sacrificing myself who I was as a person and just my passion for things in life. And now, again, th this might seem a little weird out of context, just me coming back and start trauma dumping on everyone. I, I'll try to not make it seem like that. I I'll try to make it make sense. I'll try to not make it, you know, cringe in a way. I essentially, I just kept driving myself into a wall over and over again and, it, it, and that was even throughout the last few weeks on youtube bringing myself off camera was the best i could do to mask that fact that i had burned out i lost my spark angel was taking my place for me that's why all the videos were just so much better you could see me drop off in terms of like comedic attitude and stuff and then angel came along and he just made it all the more better meanwhile i was busy off to the side you weren't even able to see me but then i mean i stopped talking to angel for a little bit he went his way and i was left without anyone to host my youtube channel i mean i, I was dead in the water I, I just never was able to pick that back up and for months after i had stopped i still continued to just eat it i kept i continued to just eat dirt i, I continued into that wall 
I, I, just, I was just completely lost to the fact that I had literally no self-worth anymore. I, I had no self-importance. I didn't realize what I was doing to myself. And it's funny too, because you can notice that my passion for things was gone. I had no motive for anything anymore. Any light that had gone for, any light for me had grown dim. And I mean, I hit it well under sarcasm, but that was just who I was. I had no reason to act like that either. I, I, it's not like I had it bad. I, I was in a better position than most. After all, I had my highs, but just my lows were just too undeniable. When you've had lows that low, it, it, you can't just ignore them. I, I was just too stubborn to acknowledge them. I was too stubborn to notice that it was time to step back and rethink what I was doing to myself. I had essentially become a different person. And like a fresh wound right under a band-aid, June 2023 came along. It's half a year since I cut off the channel and I had no intention of bringing it back. I mean, I was writing another high. It, it was a false high, though, a false hope. I was naive. I didn't really care that it was fake happiness, even though I knew it was. I, it, it's just one of, those it's one of those feelings where you don't care. You, it, it's, you're high off the dopamine, and you, don't, you just don't want to let go of it, even though you're losing yourself. You're sacrificing yourself for just a dose of dopamine. That dose of happiness is intoxicating. It's a drug. And it wants, it, it makes you want more. I, I, it just, it leaves you also unaware of what you're doing to yourself in the meantime. But I mean, boy, was I made aware of it. At the very end of June, throughout the month of July, I was more than dead in the water. I might as well have been underwater. I mean, when you realize how long you went sacrificing yourself, when you realize how long you went with no self-worth, how long you went with no real happiness of your own, when you realize how long you went without independence, there would be just no leverage left. There was no leverage left. There was only distractions. And disregarding the fact that I had by definition been in a depression for the entire first half of this year, I think for the first time in a long time, I was off on a new foot. Anyways, on to better things. That's what happened to Shattered Kevin. And for those of you asking if he's gonna return, I say never say never. But for now, all that I have is me, myself, and I. It's all I have now and all I will ever have, just myself. And so good things do come and go, but so long as I'm happy with myself, I'll be able to go onward and just live my life again as best as I can. So yeah, I'm still Kevin, just not shattered Kevin. I don't want to hide behind that shattered persona anymore. And although it's a fun name and I didn't really mention why I was shattered, after all I was happy anyway, that's besides the point. It's always good to have just a, a new alias. Anyways, no longer is shattered Kevin, but I am still Kevin and I still want to put my artistic side, I want to put my passions into other forms of media.
I guess, or just put my artistic abilities towards different aspects and different things in life. Like, I, wouldn't it be a bad idea to look around and actually enjoy nature for once, would it? It's always good to take a moment, look around at your surroundings and enjoy and appreciate them for what they are. That's where photography comes in. Photography shows you that a lot of the time just stopping and taking in the moment a lot of the times can just bring you so much peace and meditation. Oftentimes the simplest things is what the simplest things are what make you happiest in life. Just dwelling on missed opportunities or just the past in general, it's just a waste of time. If you're not learning anything from it, it's better to just look forward or just learn and move forward especially look forward because you can't take a good picture without looking at what's in front of the camera i'm kevin and this is kevin r media I'm calling it i'm going home that's a wrap uh.